let's have a little chat about antennas, shall we? Antennas are pretty important. Don't have antennas, don't get good signal. Now, for a long time, you've had to spend a lot of money on antennas for your HD0 goggle. Upwards of 50 to $100 at times. So with that, we decided to develop our own antenna that does a very good job, very comparable performance to an expensive antenna set. So today I'm excited to introduce the HD0 Echo antenna set. As you can see here, it's a set of patch antennas and omni antennas in a kit form to fit out your goggle. The pricing on this is really fair. If you buy this with the goggle, it'll cost you $29.99. If you buy it outside of the goggle, it'll be $49.99. And I'm very impressed with how well it performs compared to other antennas. All that said, make sure that you prioritize having a very good transmit antenna on VTX. It's just as important, if not more important, than the antennas that you put on for receiving. All that said though, these are awesome. Right-hand circular polarized kit, slides right on. It's got a little bit of a uh, up tilt on the patch antenna mount so that when you're looking down a little bit, it still gives you good reception. When you're looking at antennas, there's a lot of things you need to evaluate. Uh, obviously, you want the best signal performance, you want the best multipathing resistance, you want the best circular polarization, all these things. But those are all just specs. How about we test the side by side? So that's what I did. I found a way to set up a test rig where I could compare some nice TrueRC antennas that I've used for years and years to these antennas. And the results were surprising to me. In most cases, it was blow for blow. They were almost the same. And that is saying a lot for a budget set of antennas like this. So I tested analog performance to look at how one antenna works. I tested frequency range, channel one, four, and eight to see if there's any difference there. I tested linear polarized antennas versus circular polarized antennas. And I expected to see a bit of a drop off in performance there because the patch antenna on this is actually linear, not circular polarized, unlike the Omni on the top. Theoretically, I expected the performance to be quite a bit worse on the linear, but practically speaking, flying through buildings and trees, things like that, I didn't see the difference that I was expecting to see. I just, I saw no difference really. So I'll put all this footage in the link that you can watch and evaluate for yourself. And you'll see the same thing that I saw, that this antenna kit really does a very good job. So this is the antenna kit that I'm gonna use going forward, obviously. And I recommend it to everyone else too, especially when you look at the side-by-side -side footage and evaluate it for yourself. You'll see this is just a really good performing antenna set for the price. It really does get very close, if not equal the performance of a more expensive set. Now, one major thing that contributes to how well antennas perform is the quality control. We 100% test every single one of these antennas before it leaves the factory. Anything that doesn't meet our spec gets sent back for rework or destroyed. So with that QC in check, you can be confident that the antenna set that you're getting is gonna match the performance of the antenna set that I have. No longer do you have to spend a lot of money on antennas to get good performance. So let's open the box and we'll see what's inside. So first off, we've got this card here and this is going over some of the technical gains and efficiencies of the antennas. So as you can see, it's a wide bandwidth antenna that's gonna cover the full race band that we use. And you can see how the gain varies versus frequency. On this page, you can see how the patch antenna looks right here. And on, on this one, you can see how the uh, Omni antenna pattern looks like. What you wanna see is a nice gain level and a circular shape. And you can see that here. 
So here's what's in the box. Aside from that lovely printout, we have the Omni antennas here and then the patch antennas. Taking the patch out of the box, let's take a look at how it's constructed. So it's this antenna that's in this nice injection molded case so that it will be a lot nicer than using tape to hold on the antennas. And it's got a nice little angle on it so that the antenna is automatically going to be pointing up a little bit as you tilt your head down. So I'll pop this out of here and we'll take a look because it just snip, snaps right in. So here is the antenna. It's pretty small, pretty light. Next, let's take a look at the right-hand circular polarized Omni antenna. So this is it right here. Pretty straightforward. It's just a standard looking Omni antenna, but it does perform really, really well in my tests. So here's a side-by-side -side view of the TrueRC antenna kit and then what it looks like versus the Echo kit and what it looks like. So as you can see, there's this nice angle for when you're looking down, it's gonna keep the patch more pointed towards the drone. And then, yeah, you've got the uh, Omni antennas on here, a little bit bulkier, but very similar height overall. This is a great antenna kit to get for the goggle. It has good coverage uh, when you're pointed forward, and then the Omnis really help. One thing that really helps too, is if you get a extension cable to get this stubby antenna mounted higher. That lets you fly behind yourself and still get a good reception. And it also separates it from the patch antenna a little bit, which helps with the diversity. So do I recommend this kit? Well, I mean, obviously, yes, I do. It's just a really good value at $49. So yes, of course, I recommend this kit. It works great. And I want to make sure that you also realize antennas on the goggles don't solve all of your problems. Make sure to focus on all of the little things that add up that can give you tremendous gains in performance. With that, have a great day.